No, that's your boyfriend right there? That's your, that's your girl? Huh? That's your who? Your baby mama? That's your baby mama? Bro, you know, man, let's read that again. You got to marry that woman, bro. You got kids, bro. Right. Come on. Marriage is honorable and all. Give me, give me Mark 4 and 14, because what just happened is the man just took the woman from the word of God. Right. That's the devil. You say Jesus is white. Even you agree, huh, Troy? No, you say he's black. I said that. Okay. Let's see who's true. I didn't say he's we gonna, we gonna, white. Yeah, we're we gonna, we gonna let the Bible speak. We're gonna let God be true and every man a liar, all right? Because Sister Chloe finna understand what the revealing of Christ is. Give me that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Root word is reveal. Revelation means to reveal. Right. Now, Sister Chloe, I want you to listen carefully, okay? Come on. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh oh. We're going to play three strikes. Let's push it. I don't think it's cool. You say he white. Look at this. You say he white. You say this is what we've been known to understand who Christ is. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. This man got woolly hair, white woolly hair. Okay, what about this man over here? So far, strike one against this man. Huh? Come on, read on. As white as snow. As white as snow. It's just telling you the uh, the color compared to snow. It's white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. This man got. Fiery eyes? Nah. What about this man over here? You know what that mean, right? That mean he had fiery eyes because he came drinking wine. You ever got that uncle that, that'll drink a little bit? Yeah, look, look. Look at Troy eyes right now. Troy been drinking today. Troy been drinking too early. Uh, we're every gonna, day. We're going to get that, though. We're going to get it for you, Troy. I don't want yeah. you to leave, bro, because I'm your brother now. I've been, I've been here. Hey, check, check it out, though, Troy. Everything Listen. that you're doing, I was doing. I know. And I had to change. Because yeah. these men out here, they said don't do it no more. But we, hold on. Let's, let's, let's get back to revealing the Christ. Let's start over from the top. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Okay, Christ had white, woolly hair. Wool is a texture. Who has woolly hair today on this planet Earth? So-called black people. Because you ain't black, your shoes is black. My pants is black. We dark-skinned people. But you also got uh, some Hispanics with woolly hair. Right. You got some Native Americans with woolly hair. That means they black too, so-called. Right? We are from the tribes of Israel, 12 tribes. Come on. White like wool. Come on. As white as snow. Uh, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was as a flame of fire. Come on, get that Genesis 49 and 12 real quick. His eyes was a flame of fire. Come on. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. You see, Christ's eyes should be red with wine. Read. And his teeth white with milk. White with milk, meaning he kept the laws. He spoke the laws. The milk of the Bible. Come on, so read that again. Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Flame of fire because Christ came drinking wine. They called him a wine bill, like he was a wino. Come on, read. But he never got drunk. Come on, read. In his feet, like unto a fine brass. Now look at your feet, Sister Chloe. What color is brass? That's like a penny, right? Brass is like brown, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, look at me. Don't look like I'm burned in the furnace. I'm dark skin, like black, right? That's strike three uh, against this devil right here. This is the revealing of Christ. Now, that we're not saying that this is actually him and how he looked, but described but the depiction from the Bible, this describes him better than this character right here. You understand? This is not Christ. This is the damn devil the Bible speaks. That's, That's right. right. And this is what you've been taught all your life since you was a baby up to now. But look, we got the book now. 
Amen. Now you know the real revealing of Christ. You know how he looked. He got white, woolly hair. And we were talking about hair earlier. He didn't perm his hair. He kept it woolly. Keep your hair woolly, sister. I'm going to show you something else. Come on, let's switch back on. Give me that Daniel 7. Give me Daniel 79. I'm going to show you how the most high God's hair is. Because why? The Christ is God's uh, son, right? So his daddy got to be looking like him, right? Come on. 79. Daniel 79. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is God. Because he was before days, he created days. Come on, read. Whose garment was white as snow. God has a body. Because he had on what? A garment. He had on a shirt, a, 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 a war garment. Bang. Nothing like it on earth. Come on, read. And the hair. And the what? And the hair. Now he's talking about his hair. Come on. Of his head like the pure wool. Like the what? Like the pure wool. The most high God has white, woolly hair. Right. God is a so-called black man. That's right. Christ is God's son. Christ is a so-called black man. Right. You Israelites, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all need to come and understand who you are. Hold on, Sister Chloe. Hold on, don't leave just yet. Because I want to I want to show you something else in the Bible. All right? Because we under curses right now, sis. And the curse is our sisters have changed their minds and their mindset of how they're supposed to dress. All right? So let's get that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because we didn't listen to, to the laws, the statutes and commandments of God. He put us on curses. All right? So this is to help. This, this could be in your mind to change your hair. Because you say, you know, you're going to work on not putting that stuff in your head again. All praise to the Most High. Now you can work on this. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman. Now we talk about the woman. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You're not supposed to wear what pertains to men. What pertains to men that men wear? Pants, right? Or shorts, right? Come on, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A man ain't supposed to wear what you wear. What's a woman's garment? Woman's garment mainly is what? A dress, right? That's how you know how to go to the bathroom at the restaurant or a place of business, right? It distinguished. The woman got the dress on, the man got the pants on. Read. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So if you're doing these things, if you're cross dressing, if you're not wearing a dress, you're an abomination to God. If a man wears a dress and not pants, He's abomination to God. That's the commandment. So, sis, think about that. Because why? It's, it's to not, it's to uh, not uh, have your brother in sin. Because uh, give me, give me Matthew five twenty-seven. Give me Matthew five twenty-seven. This is a reason why. Because Christ had to come back and magnify this law. Because we wasn't keeping. So now it's time for our sisters to start keeping this law. It's not an attack on you. It's that we want you to do better, Troy. Don't leave, bro, because I want to talk to you right quick, Troy. Come on, man. That store ain't got nothing for you. Hey, hey, that's the, that's that. All right, come on. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 27. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You see, in, in the old time, the Old Testament law, which we still keep to this day, thou shalt not commit adultery. Read. Verse 28, but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery in his, in, with her already in his heart. In the minds of men, they create adultery with you. Because why? The way you dress. You're revealing everything to them. You, you say you got a boyfriend, which should be your husband. That should be your husband. Because God don't give me, give me uh, Hebrews 13. What club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. <laughs> That's what y'all do. <laughs> didn't have to class. Yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just didn't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. 
So read that again. So that's why Christ said, any man that look at a woman and lust after her, he committed adultery in his mind. Meaning he want to have sex with you. And you already, you already have a husband. You just got to make it official. Okay? Because why? God only honors marriage. He don't honor girlfriend and boyfriend. That's for them. Okay? Watch this. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. See, marriage is honorable. God honors marriage. Come on. And the bed undefiled. Anything you and your husband want to do in the bedroom between you, him, and the Lord. Come on. But whoremongers. At but whoremongers. That's men sleeping from women to women. Breaking up with their girlfriends and going to another woman. Or a woman breaking up with a boyfriend and going to another man. That's called hoarding. Whoremongers. And adulterers. Those that sleep around on their wife or their husband. Read. God will judge. God going to judge you. And how does he judge that, that type of uh, behavior? With diseases. Gonorrhea. Blue waffle. You ever heard of blue waffle? You need to look that up, sis. Look that up. That's your boyfriend right there? That's your, that's your girl? Huh? That's your who? Your baby mama? That's your baby mama? Bro, you know, man, just read that again. You got to marry that woman, bro. You got kids, Bob. Right. Come on. Marriage is honorable and all. Give me, give me Mark 4 and 14, because what just happened is the man just took the woman from the word of God. Right. That's the devil. The sister was over here getting that, under, that understanding, and now the man going to take her away. He don't want to understand. Come on. Mark chapter 4 and verse 15. And, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. We were sowing the word into the woman, into her mind to get her to change. Right. To get her to repent and keep God's commandments. But then Satan came along and pulled her away right. from listening to God. See, that's what's wrong with this community. And not just this community. It's all the communities around all the way around the globe. We don't want to listen to God. That's why we are in these conditions today. That's why we get shot down in the street. That's why we get uh, last high, first five. That's why we on welfare. Why? Because we don't want to listen to God. Give me, uh, give me first, I mean, second Thessalonians one and seven. There's judgment for that. We ain't out here just to be talking. We out here because we know and we understand what we're talking about. I know y'all sisters listening, but sisters, we're not out here to attack you. We out here to help you because we don't, we understand. What it is is that you don't really understand. You need to understand it. That's why you should come over here so we can show you real quick. It only take five minutes. That's all it take. Give me Second Thessalonians 1 and 7. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. See, we're being troubled right now. And the way we're going to rest with God is if we keep his commandments to the end. Come on. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed. Christ is going to be revealed on that day. When that elect comes, Christ is going to crack that sky, the black Messiah. Come on. From heaven with his mighty angels. And he coming with angels. Yeah. Come on. And flaming fire. And it's flaming fire that's coming with him. And not taking ice fire. cream. Come on. Taking vengeance. Taking what? Vengeance. Taking what? Vengeance. He's going to take vengeance when he comes. Him and his angels. Come on. On them that know not God. If you ain't understanding and knowing God, Christ is going to take vengeance. Come on. And that obey not the gospel of Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to take vengeance on you because you obey not the word of God. You don't obey the commandments. And that is the gospel of Christ. Read. Verse 9. Who shall be punished? Who shall be what? Be punished. If you're not coming over here to listen and learn who you are and what you're supposed to do on this planet Earth, you're going to be what? Be punished. You're going to be punished with everlasting destruction. With everlasting destruction, that means pain. Just because you die in this in this earthly body, your spirit 
it's gonna have a death as well. Right. Yeah. Revelations two and twenty. I mean, yeah, twenty twenty and eight. <laughs> there is a second death. The first death is your earthly body gone off this planet Earth. But that second death is your spirit. Read. Revelations chapter 20 and verse 10. And the devil that deceiveth them was cast into the lake of fire. You see that? The devil that that devil is that so-called white man. The one that told y'all you ain't gotta keep the commandments. All you gotta do is believe and confess his name. But it's more to that. Hey, sisters, y'all walking across the street. Hey, won't y'all come over here and listen to the word of God? Because you're not going to hear this tomorrow at your church. We have a church right now. Come on. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophets are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. You're going to be tormented day and night forever and ever when, with that devil. If you don't keep these commandments, go to verse 12. Verse 12. That's right. Verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. The, death, the dead, small and great, <coughs> is standing before God. Read. And the books were open. Those books were open. The books of your life. Read. And another book was open. And another book was opened, which is the Bible, the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. So you're going to be judged. You're going to stand in front of God and be judged. That is the second death. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.